中高生の基礎英語 in English. Hello, listeners. It's great to have you here. My name is Gary Scott Fine. Hi, everyone. I'm Hannah Grace. Thank you for joining us today. Hello, I'm Nakamura Riku. Let's have a great week.、Mm, yes, I'm looking、do. forward to it. All right, then. Let's start the lesson. Topic 17, Day 1. Let's warm up by chatting about this week's topic. The topic question this week is Should you study outside of school? Should you study outside of school? Hmm. Should you study outside of school? What does that mean? Riku, when you hear the words study outside of school, what do you think of? Hmm. Homework. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. Homework is work that you do at home. In other words, outside of school. Yes. Another way to study outside of school is self study.、Mm. When you decide to study, even though it's not homework. Right. You might review the textbook,、mm-hmm. for example, or read through your notes. You might even look on the internet to learn more about something. Yeah. The question is should you study outside of school? Some people think that. If you pay attention and study hard at school all day, you should not need to study more outside of school. Hmm. Riku, on day five, you'll share your opinion and explain your reasons. Hmm. Okay. Now, let's look at this week's dialogue. Last time, Mika and Ken were talking in the kitchen late at night. Yes. They were talking about going after your dream or being realistic. Right. Their conversation continues. Let's listen. Your turn. What's wrong? My math test. Another disaster. You need to study more outside of school. I try hard at school all day. That should be enough. For math? Maybe you need to study more. What about getting help? Like what? Well, like cram school. More school? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Different ways of studying may help you understand better. What about a tutor? Cram schools and tutors are expensive. Well, lots of online videos teach math. They're free. I'm tired after school. I want to chill. I know. I'd help you, but you're doing stuff I haven't done yet. Thanks, anyway. Don't you have any friends who are good at math? Someone you want to spend time with? Then it wouldn't even feel like studying. Well, I do know someone, but she'd never agree. You should try. Hmm. Thanks, Mika. No problem. Well, it's late. We should sleep. Ken, do you really think my dream is wonderful? I do. Totally. Yeah? Thanks, Ken. Hmm. <laughs> so, Riku. What were you able to catch? Ken says, more school?、Uh. <laughs> yeah, outside of school.、Mm-hmm. Yes. More school outside of school? <laughs> yes. And we should sleep, and、mm-hmm. it's night.、Uh, mm-hmm. Very、yes. good. At the end of the dialogue, Mika says, Do you really think my dream is wonderful? Right. Mika's dream. Or, goal is to do three things become a lawyer, a newscaster, and Riku. What was the third thing she wanted to do?、Mm. Make documentary films. That's right. That's、yes. right. 
Now, let's go back to this week's topic. Riku, who thinks it's good to study outside of school? Mika.、Mm -hmm. Yes. And who doesn't think this way? Ken. Yes.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mika thinks it's good to study outside of school, and Ken doesn't think so. We'll find out more about Mika's and Ken's thoughts on day two. And day three. New words. New phrases. Here are some words you might have heard for the first time. Our first one today is cram school. Cram school. In the dialogue, Mika suggests cram school as a way for Ken to get help with math. And Ken says, "More school." <laughs> yeah, a cram school is a school where you go for extra study.、Mm. You might go to cram school in the evening after your regular school, or maybe on the weekends.、Mm -hmm. Students in Japan may go to cram school to prepare for entrance examinations. Yes, Riku. Do you know what cram school is in Japanese? Juku.、Mm. Ah, yes. You're right. Here, the word cram means to study a lot in a short amount of time,、mm. usually before an exam. Right. So cram school sounds like a place where you try to put a lot of information into your brain quickly.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Cram school is one way to study outside of school.、Mm -hmm. Another way is with a tutor. Ah, that's our next new word, tutor. Tutor. That's another of Mika's suggestions in the dialogue. She says, "What about a tutor?"、Mm. A tutor is a teacher who works with you outside of school. Right. A tutor might come to your home. Yes, and a tutor might not be much older than you.、Mm. If you're a junior high or high school student, your tutor might be a university student. Right, a slightly older student who's good at the subject that you want to improve. So maybe it's easy to get along with your tutor and learn a lot of things.、Mm -hmm. Our next new word is stuff. Stuff. Here, stuff is another word for things. Yeah, stuff is a casual word that means things without saying clearly what those things are. For example, I love to talk with my friends about all kinds of stuff. Hmm. Riku, try to say. I have a lot of things to do, using the word stuff in place of things.、Mm, okay, I have a lot of stuff to do.、Mm. Ah, very, very、Perfect. good. I have a lot of stuff to do. Remember that this stuff never has an s at the end. Right. It's always stuff, never stuffs. Now. Let's listen to the dialogue once more. Pay attention to how these words are being used. Your turn. What's wrong? My math test. Another disaster. You need to study more outside of school. I try hard at school all day. That should be enough. For math, maybe you need to study more. What about getting help? Like what? Well, like cram school. More school? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Different ways of studying may help you understand better. What about a tutor? Cram schools and tutors are expensive. Well, lots of online videos teach math. They're free. I'm tired after school. I want to chill. I know. I'd help you. 
But you're doing stuff I haven't done yet. Thanks, anyway. Don't you have any friends who are good at math? Someone you want to spend time with? Then it wouldn't even feel like studying. Well, I do know someone, but she'd never agree. You should try. Hmm. Thanks, Mika. No problem. Well, it's late. We should sleep. Ken, do you really think my dream is wonderful? I do. Totally. Yeah? Thanks, Ken. Conversation Strategy Today's conversation strategy is saying no to an offer or suggestion. Riku, when someone says, Why don't you do this? And your answer is no, what do you say? No, thank you. Ah, mm. yes, that's a good answer. Mm -hmm. Let's look at two useful expressions from this week's dialogue. The first one is... Thanks, but no thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Yes, thanks, but no thanks means just what it sounds like. Thank you, but no thank you. Yes, it's a way of saying thank you for something you don't want. <laughs> right. Often, people use this as a humorous or funny way to say that they really don't like what is being offered to them. <laughs> yes. For example, in the dialogue, Mika says that cram school might help Ken with math. Mm. And Ken replies, more school? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. He's saying he doesn't want to go to cram school, period. Everyone, let's try it. Ready? Thanks, but... No thanks. Very good. Hmm. Okay. Here is another way to say no to an offer or suggestion. You can say No, but thanks anyway. No, but thanks anyway. No, but thanks anyway means thank you for your offer. Even though my answer is no. Yeah. You can also use this polite expression to thank someone when things just don't work out. Yes. In the dialogue, for example, Mika says to Ken, I'd help you, but you're doing stuff I haven't done yet. Right. She means she would help Ken with his math, except Ken is doing math that Mika hasn't learned yet. And Ken says, thanks anyway. Yeah, he means, thank you for your idea, even though it didn't work out. So everyone, Riku, let's practice. Yes, we'll make some suggestions and you say no using the expressions we've just learned. Ready? Ready. Would you like to be the captain of your school's soccer team? Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's take part in a triathlon together. No, but thanks anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Everyone, were you able to answer using today's phrases? All right, it's time to wrap up the lesson. Riku, what did you think of this week's dialogue? Hmm, I worried about Mika and Ken. You're, you're worried about them? Yes. Mm. Mm. That's, that's very thoughtful, very they sweet. Have, <laughs> yes, they have a lot of things to think about. Mm. We need to find out more about what's going to happen. Tomorrow, we will find out more about Ken's thoughts. So, until then... Bye! Bye.